Hey everyone, so this will be an online speed test between an 8 year old 2012 MacBook Air, which is on the left, versus a new, well, I've had, I've had it for about a week now, Microsoft Surface Pro 7, which is of course on the right. Both of these have an i5, just the Surface has a lot newer i5, of course. Both uh, have 128 gigabytes of storage. Both of these I do have the keyboard for. Of course, Air comes with a keyboard as it is in computer computer. And it, and the uh, Surface Pro also has a keyboard. Uh, it you, When you buy them, you don't have to have a keyboard. I uh, bought mine from Costco with the keyboard. And both of these are backlit on the keyboards as well. Both of these have about the same brightness, which is at about level 3. Uh, the, my, the Apple Air... I'm going to turn that brightness all the way. It actually turns off the screen. Uh, but they're both about the same brightness. Uh, the Surface Pro does not do that. So we're going to do an online comparison here. Speed comparison. Of course, they're both hooked up to the same Wi-Fi. Neither of these are LTE models. I don't know if you can get either of these in LTE. But either way, both of these are just Wi-Fi only. Uh, the Air has 4 gigabytes of RAM. I don't think I mentioned this yet. 4 gigabytes of RAM on the Air. Whereas the Surface Pro actually has 8 gigabytes of RAM. We are going to be using Google Chrome for both of these. That is my preferred browser. Uh, Surface comes with Edge and the Air, of course, comes with Safari. But I like to use Chrome. Uh, and that way we're using the same exact browser anyway. Both have been cleared out of their histories. So both are good to go. First we go to Google. And then we'll just look up, uh, let's see, let's look up Garmin Venue. I'm going to look up the Garmin Venue, which is a really cool watch if you do not know what that is. One, two, three. I think this guy beat it a little bit. We will hit Garmin's own website here. So the Surface Pro is going to win a little bit. Now both of these do have decent screens, just the Surface Pro is better. Um, the video does not do, well, really either of these justice, uh, but the Surface Pro is definitely better on screens, screen-wise. So this is identical. All right, we'll go to bestbuy.com. This is a, at times, a wonky website. For some reason, it makes things not want to work like they should. So again, the Surface Pro is going to beat the air by, what do you think, about five, six seconds. And of course, the air is, again, about eight years old. It is a 2012 model. We're going to do the same thing again. Garmin Venue. Garmin Venue. I will say that Chrome seems to be working better on the Surface Pro or faster on the Surface Pro than Edge was. Uh, so before I did this video, I actually used Edge and then Edge on the Microsoft Chrome on the Air. And the Air was actually being faster than the Surface Pro. So that is something to note. It seems like Chrome is definitely faster than Edge. But I believe Edge takes up less battery. But you can still see, which is just nuts to me, how fast this the, my, the Apple, mixing up all my brains here, the Apple is, even after 8 years, and just having an i5 and only 4 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, still a very fast computer. It's pretty nuts. Right, so you can see they're both pretty quick. Do a couple more websites here. Go to Pokemon.com. So again, a few seconds faster on the Microsoft. That was very close. I don't know which one won. Let's get rid of this. The Bulbasaur. 
we're going to refresh this page uh, wash these bars here so on certain devices I think it's more tablets those bars do not do that little motion so it's something that's something uh, but on computers it does yeah so Chrome is definitely faster on this again I was using Edge and the air was either keeping up or even sometimes passing the the surface. So let me know what you guys think of that. I uh, will go to YouTube, uh, but again, it's still crazy though to me how fast the air is. Um, and even compared to a new Mac MacBook Air, this guy is still pretty quick. Turn down the volume on both of these. We're gonna type in your 4K. Both of these have good speakers on them. I'm actually really surprised at how good the Surface is. Uh, I mean, I, in the past month or so, I've tried out a few different other PC uh, laptops, and this definitely beats them. Um, yeah, I mean, the Air is still good, but the, I would say the Surface wins on that front. I'll do this one, which everyone loves to show off, including myself. Go full screen. So this did it in 720. This did it in 10, oh, 1440, actually. Uh, we'll go down to 1080. Oh, we'll do 1440, see if... Show that the MacBook can still do it. Sort of. <laughs> So see, it starts to stutter. You know, it's loaded here. It, it does doesn't exactly like fourteen forty. I believe this screen's only what seven twenty p on the on the air. So again, it still looks good. It's just definitely not as good as the as the surface is. I mean, up to what twenty seventeen when they quit making this version of the MacBook Air, it had this screen, and people complained about it like the entire time it was out. Um, I mean, I used the I used the MacBook Air throughout my college years of about four and four and a half years of using it for college. Uh, then ever since then, I mean, I bought it in 2012 when it was new. Uh, I really had no issues with it, but newer screens are definitely better. Uh, we'll click one more video. So again, this is just showing off browsing on these. Um, it just showing off how fast both of these are. Uh, again, I guess uh, I would, I did not actually use Chrome until we start before starting this video on the Surface Pro. It is definitely faster than Edge. So if you want the most speed, I would go with Chrome. That's nuts. Uh, but I believe Edge is supposed to be better for keeping your battery. So. And we'll do a quick, let's do a quick royalty. Yeah, so we'll just do royalty free music here. I'll show off the speakers here. Let's just hit this first one. Whoop. All right, nobody cares, Pat Brady. Brady. Oh, I said Brady. So that's the cert or the apple. Air. 
and a surface. So both sound very, very good in their speakers. Um, yeah, so there you guys go. Both using Chrome, both using the same Wi-Fi. MacBook is eight years old. I'd say it is about four or five seconds slower at loading websites. And when you're on actual websites, it's maybe a couple of seconds slower at loading extra things on said website. Uh, yeah, so let me know what you guys think. To me, it's just kind of mind blowing how fast the air still is. Even after eight years of pretty heavy use, I have over 800 cycles on the battery on this bad boy. Um, so battery is definitely not so good anymore. Still probably lasts me about two hours, three hours, depending on what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. As always, thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video. If you want to see a comparison between the Air versus any of the other devices I have, which would be tablets, uh, let me know. Uh, I am honestly probably going to end up returning this Surface Pro. It just it was nine hundred and seventy dollars after taxes, and that included the the keyboard and the pen from Costco. Uh, just for a couple of seconds faster than my old MacBook. I was keep my MacBook plugged in basically, and away we'll go. Uh, but I really do love the form factor of the Surface Pro. It's just it's just nice being having having a tablet. If you don't want a keyboard with you, you just attach the keyboard. Uh, you still have your pen and everything else. Very cool. I wish it was maybe six hundred bucks, six hundred dollars. I'd probably end up keeping it. Uh, but that's about what you get for a Surface Go. All right, guys. Thank you all very much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.